Let's clean up the Wildcats logo together. We're going to start by separating the colors. If I click automatic, you can see Graphic Tracer chooses the colors. It's got black, it's got red, it's got the gold, and it's got the gray. Now we don't want to trace that gray. In fact, we want to eliminate it. So I'm going to select that gray and I'm just going to hit delete on my keyboard or we can click delete down here either way to delete that. But we want to take that and we want to eliminate that color altogether. So I'm going to select my background color here. That's the square with the line through it. And with my little eyedropper tool, I'm just going to click on that gray and add that gray into the background color. Now by doing that, when I click process, it's going to process all of the colors in this uh, image uh, to just these three colors, the, the black, the red, and the gold, and, and whatever my background is, which is going to be white. So I'm going to process that image like so. And so at this point, once we have processed our image, we separate our colors, we're ready to do our auto trace vectorization. So I'm going to move over to my create vectors and click on that and graphic tracer then does a quick vectorization. Now you can see that uh, the, the vectorization is a little bit rough. You know, it doesn't look too bad when it's small but, and everything, all of our tolerances were set at zero. Now I could get a better trace by adjusting my tolerances and tracing different sections of the graphic but we do have a fairly powerful here tool if i choose like for this eye i could retrace just that eye by selecting that object and uh, decreasing the amount of detail and corners and lines and i can redo or retrace just that selected like so and you can see how it changed the trace on that eye i could actually go through and retrace every object in that way in this graphic but uh, uh, we're not going to do that we're going to use our cleanup tools so we're going to begin by going to the first cleanup tool over here our text tool and our font i we have text that's really rough here and we can let graphic tracer the font i tool do that automatically so i'm going to come over here and i'm just going to draw a box around the word grand prix winter 2017 and we're going to go to identify font and replace. Now you can see when I selected that, I caught a little part of that cat's ear. So I'm going to hit, hold my shift key down and click on that. And it's going to remove that from this font search. And I'm going to do that for the eye as well. This line here is a baseline for my text, which is not straight line. So I'm going to use this drop down and we're going to come down to circular arc and it's going to recalculate the baseline for the letters in that upper arc. At this point, I click Next, and Graphic Tracer is going to try and determine what letters it's going to be looking for. And so I have to do a confirmation here. We've got a G, capital G, so the shift arrow. It's, it thinks that's a capital A, and I need to tell it, no, that is not a capital A, that's a capital R. A N D P R I X W I N N E. And now there's another R that it thinks it's an A, so I need to tell it that's an R. And then we have numbers here, 2017. Once I've confirmed the Graphic Tracer knows what letters it's going to be looking for, I come over and I click Next, and Graphic Tracer will do its search looking for the correct font. Now as it goes through its search in a font library, currently over 100,000 fonts, plus any of my own fonts, and you can see the first selection it has here is uh, it's close but you can see the D the center of the D is different the G and we're looking through coming through the R is not quite right you know the two is is and the one and the seven though it's a close font and if this was the only font that it found I may be able to get away with uh, using this particular font it says euro style but as I scroll down through you can see you know it's it's not the right the correct font you know when we go through so I'm going to try stretching and see if I can get a closer font if we distort a font by stretching so I click search and graphic tracer will seek to compensate for a font that's been distorted now you as you look here it says monogramma D bold extended and you can see that that is the correct font it's much closer match monogramma now we have here uh, a collection of, of precision vector shapes I can click on that and if I don't have that font I actually could replace 
with that uh, with those shapes but I do have that font down here so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replace with the actual font I click replace like so and we have just very quickly replaced that scan text with nice perfect text created from the original font now I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom down here I'm going to select the word racing team like so and we're going to come over here to identify and replace and we're going to do the same thing we're going to go to a circular arc make sure the baseline is correct I click next and I check my letters R A C I N G T E A M. Everything looks good. So I click next and Graphic Tracer will identify that font. So as we go through here, and you can see here we found it Meta Bold Turk Caps, uh, but that's not a font that I own. We're going to scroll down through here, and here's Meta Plus Bold from the Master Font Collection. That is a font that I own. And that does look like a good match. So I'm going to click replace on that. So we've replaced those two different fonts. Now I'm going to search for the Wildcats. Now I could marquee around that or I could choose a letter. If I right click my mouse with that first letter selected, I can select here same color. Graphic Tracer will go through and select all of that same color in that graphic. So when I come over here to identify and replace, you can see I've got the Wildcast selected, but I also have that eye selected. So I'm going to hold my shift key down, click on that, and deselect that eye. Now, if I left that eye up there, it would throw off my font search. So I want to have only the letters that I'm searching for as a part of this search. So that's not straight line text. It's really, you know, it's kind of on a circular arc. If you see this W here, it's it's been distorted because that's a distorted text. I'm going to use this drop down and come down to distorted. Now I'm looking for a distortion that would be similar to what I have here. So as I scroll across here, I'm going to choose this distortion right here and where Graphic Tracer then recalculates the baseline. And I'm going to just come and I'm going to just slightly adjust the, the lines of that distortion. So it's just uh, covering the, the baseline and the top looks good so I click next and now I have to type in the letters and I need to say that this is a capital W if I use my tab key I tab it over the next letter I L D whoops I got two letters here I need to be a little more careful W I L D capital C A T and S once I have associated the right letters that Graphic Tracer is going to be looking for, I click Next and Graphic Tracer then will search and it will apply a distortion to that. And you can see here it found Meta Plus Black and that is the correct font. Uh, if I want to adjust that line just slightly like so, I can bring that down to where it matches up almost perfectly with my um, trace in the background and I click replace now with that Wildcats I've replaced that you can see here that my contour is not quite right so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the word Wildcats and I'm going to come over here to replace objects where we have the replace contour so we're going to let graphic tracer recalculate that contour a close here it's going to say 0 0.04 so I've got remove old contour we're going to do a preview and you can see it's not quite large enough so we're going to go through and I'm going to change that to 0 0.05 and we'll preview that again and uh, that is much closer I could probably even go a little bit closer I'm going to go 0.55 and preview and draw that even a bit closer to what I had and the black line is going to get uh, taken out and it's going to be replaced with the red line so I click apply and I've replaced my contour. Uh, we can go through with my adjusting shapes. I'm going to come over and we're just going to start working our way down. You can see on these lines, the red lines are, are curves and green lines are straight lines. So I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to come over to the other side here and I'm going to turn that into a straight line. Now I'm going to select this node right here 
and I'm going to hold my control button down and choose this node over here and you can see it selected all the nodes going this way if I click on that again it chooses the nodes going the other way and I'm going to convert those nodes to an arc so now you can see I've got a nice circular arc going across the top there I'm going to do that same thing and I'm going to choose this node right here on this and hold my control button down and choose here and I'm going to convert that to an arc as well now when I do that graphic tracer remembers the the center point of that arc and so it's going to maintain a nice circular arc and parallel lines and we'll do the same thing on on that I'm going to make this uh, straight line right here now I've cleaned up this little piece right here I'm going to take that object that I've just cleaned up and select that object and I'm going to do replace objects copy shape to an object and I have that shape selected if I come over here to this side you can see how that object is there you can see the preview if I hold my shift key down it mirrors it and I click and I've cleaned up that side right there we're going to continue with uh, on our cleanup I'm going to come over here and we're going to select that little corner and we're going to convert that to a corner I can hold my space bar down and see my original bitmap in the background I'm going to take that node and let's take uh, come over to this side and I'm going to choose this node right here and come over here and it selects all the nodes between those points there and I'm going to convert that to a straight line I'm going to choose that node right there and I'm going to hold my control button down this node over here and selects all those nodes on that arc and I'm going to make a nice arc out of that now with this node over here that's highlighted I'm going to hold my control button down and select that node and we're going to convert that to a curve and I'm going to come up here and click on that node holding my control button down and we're going to convert that to a curve and I can just work my way right around this uh, this cat like so just uh, and I'm hitting the C on my keyboard and uh, work my way around that cat you know if I want to to uh, clean them up you know a little bit better and we're gonna make that it's so like that and we'll make that to a curve and just working our way through make that into a line and we'll make that into a corner and we'll make that into a curve and we're going to make this into a curve on this side and you can just go through and and I can also just come and select a, a bunch of nodes like that and just hit the C on my keyboard I can come through and select sections like that and make that into a corner I can choose a node here well we'll make a corner right here well, maybe you don't have to do that I'm going to choose this node right here rather than make a corner and we're going to make a line here and with that node selected I'll come up here and choose that one may make a nice smooth curve there you know if I want to just come through and use auto cleanup I can choose the auto cleanup and this will automatically reduce nodes on the path that I've selected and when I click apply you can see now that there's fewer nodes there uh, the last we've got here we've got uh, actually the lower portion of this graphic so I'm going to select these nodes right here and we'll make that into a nice corner and we'll make this into a nice corner by selecting that into a corner we'll double click on this and make that into a straight line and this into a straight line and I'm going to highlight that and we'll make that to a corner and click on this node right over here and it highlights all the nodes between those points and we're going to make a nice smooth arc right there and as we work our way around here we'll make that to a curve and we'll come up and turn that into a corner and with that I come over to seeing my final I come over to save export this as an EPS an AI DXF PLT SVG one click bring it right into Illustrator or CorelDRAW thank you I hope this helps you